All right, all right. Uh, Shalom, Makim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha, Kwadash. All right, I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations throughout the Legakim. You know, that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And uh, Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kwadash. You know, uh, Adawan Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, you know, it's going to be basically on we have a job to do. All right. We have to tell our people, all right, you Israelites, the prophecies, all right, whether y'all hear or forbear, all right, whether you listen or not. All right. That's a job as a prophet to speak the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakadash to his people, man, to prophesy, to say before. So I'm going to just roll through the spirit, Lord, when it's edifying to the elect. All right, we know through the spirit only the elect is gonna understand, and the, and the rest of our people are gonna be blinded. But they have to know. This book of Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse one it says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth," said the Lord. So the Lord speaks to His people. Are right? you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? All right, because the Lord has a chosen people. All right, that's near to Himself. All right, that He love above all nations. All right, and his nation is the nation that he loves is Israel, man. And the Israelites are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the twelve tribes to the twelve tribes according to their fathers. So like it, you know, we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. That's who the Lord people is. And so we supposed to tell his words unto his people, man. All right, verse uh, two it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, these prophecies. Are faithful and true, and they're gonna come to pass. All right, in our lifetime, all right, Jacob's trouble, World War Three, famines, all right, pestilence, all right, uh, wars, civil war, all right, that's gonna happen because it's prophesied in the scriptures. It says, "Fear not the imagination against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." So we're not supposed to be afraid of them, all right, uh, uh, because of their disbelief. That shouldn't shake us. All right, because the Lord said this, verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. We just the messengers, man. All right, we just the messengers of, of Yahweh Bashmasha. It says, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So the Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, because of the wickedness, man. And I said, we are the Lord messengers. All right, this is how the Lord speak through the prophets. This is the book of uh, bear with me, second Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter thirty six, and verse fifteen. It says, "In the Lord there, in the Lord power, Yahweh Bashimasha of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up be time and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place so the lord had compassion on his people that's why he's in the prophets out to warn you so when that destruction comes uh, he can save those that believe all right verse 17 verse 16 but they mocked the messengers of a, but they mocked the messengers of the most high and misuse his words and misuse his prophet uh, like, and despise his words so like it and misuse his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. All right, so they mocked the messengers and the scripture said in the last days scoffers shall come. I right, saying where is the where is the uh the coming of the Lord? No roughly paraphrase second Peter chapter three verse three. All right, where's the coming of the Lord thy power? Let's get that, man. Fucking scoffers. All right. You're gonna die in your unfaithfulness. Second Peter chapter three verse three it says Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the, fa for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. All right. So they scoffers saying like, everything has been the same. All right. But, it's, but the Lord said he's going to send death and destruction. That's why he sent his messengers out. All right. You, you unfaithful generation. 
This book Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 8. It says, I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise through graven images. Verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So before something happens, the Lord sent out his prophets to warn the people. Amos chapter 3, verse 6, shall a shall trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And who is that trumpet? The prophets. Let's prove that right quick. Giving our people warning. The trumpet, and they're not afraid. Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. So we lift up our voice like a trumpet to tell our people their transgression and to warn them. Joel 2 and 1, it says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, which Zion goes back to the Hebrew word to Zion, which means monuments, which represents Israel. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound and in Lorem in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. So the day of the Lord is coming. So that's why we blowing that trumpet, man. All right. And you got to know, all right, there's a, there's a certain trumpet that you blow. All right. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 8. 14 and verse 6. It says, Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit what shall I profit you except I speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine? And e even things when you speak in the tongues, you mean it with different languages but you speak the language that they can understand all right so if you you spanish you see a group of spanish you speak the bible to them in spanish or you speak it to or you speak creole you got a creole uh listener you you switch you speak in tongue you speak in the creole language but you break it down the bible all right so forth and so on it says verse seven even then so like even things without life give it sound whether pipe or harp except they give an, a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what is pipe or harp? So you got to all right, give a certain sound. All right. So the, the listener can interpret it so he can understand it. Verse um, eight for the trumpet. For if the trumpet trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So what you got to know what what trumpet to blow to our people? It's not the sound. It's not the telling our people uh, prosperity and you know live it up. No, we're telling our people hey, to prepare yourself for evil times. All right. So let's go back to the Amos. So you know it says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city?" Amos three and six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? So we just broke it down. That's the prophets, you know, telling our people, "Hey, to get right, repent." Then prepare yourself because the perilous times is coming, and we gotta think, we gotta tell them in the right doctrine, the right way. It says, "Shall there be evil and sin, and the Lord have not done it?" So the Lord brings evil. Verse seven: Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets. So the Lord revealeth the mysteries, His mysteries, unto the servants, the prophets. Then the prophets go out and prophesy and tell out and tell the Lord's people. All right. Whether they were here or whether they before been, but our people, what they're scoffers, they're mockers, they mock the prophets. So a wrath is gonna come upon them, man. This book of Jeremiah, I mean Isaiah chapter 30. In, in verse 8, it says, Now, now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, talking to Israel, that this is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Yeah, so they're rebellious. They're liars. They not. They don't want to hear the law. For sin, we say to the seer, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. That's what our people want us to do, to lie to them. Because they're liars. They like to believe a lie. Verse 11, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. So they want the Lord to cease from uh to cease from uh, from before them, man. They don't want to know about the Most High Yahweh or His Son Yahweh Shai. They love Jesus, which is an idol, which is Cesare Borgia, which go back to Serapis. All right, 
all right, Serapis Crystals, all right, which told me the first set that set them up, man, made that idol. All right, they love the so-called white man, and they love Allah and Buddha, all right, which the Lord gonna kill the ass, all right. Simple, how long you simple ones that you love simpli simplicity, so like it. Verse 12, wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there, all right, because you, this is the way you, the way you feel, all right, because you trust, you despise the word and you trust in Esau, you trust in perversion and you stay there wrong. Verse 13, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, a wall whose breaking coming suddenly at an instance. So what? Your judgment is going to come as, as, at an instance. That's why we got to tell you whether you hear forbear. Ezekiel 2 and 1, it says, he said unto me, son of man, stand upon thy feet and I will speak unto thee. So the Lord told Ezekiel to do this. All right, and the scripture said it was written the fourth time, it was written for our learning. All right, which he's telling us in these times, you know, the, the true prophets started with our apostles and elders, great millstone. Verse two, and the spirit entered unto me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nations, nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day, even unto today, man. All right, our people are still in these church houses, I still into idol worshiping. I still in, into wickedness, man, to this very day. All right, what today is? Today is uh, June 17th, 2024. I, the, the hope for you, Jacob Shovel. All right, still rebellious. Verse Ezekiel 2 and 4 says, For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them. Thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power. So the Lord sent unto them, they hard headed. So we supposed to tell them, Thus said Yahweh by Shema Shai, verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So they're gonna know that a prophet was among them. Alright. They're gonna know that what the Lord sent his prophets out to warn them. Verse 6, and thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. So our people, so, so the Lord call our people scorpions and, and briars and thorns. Are they like they're like creeping things that talking about their behavior? Alright, like beasts. Alright, it says, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So we're not supposed to be afraid. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. But son of man, slot, but thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee, and be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. So we're not supposed to be like these days. We're supposed to reprove them through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shah, just how we gotta prove. So like just like we got reproved from our apostles and elders, great millstone. Verse nine. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sitting unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, talking about the Bible, the whole roll, the sixteen eleven King James Version, which include the apocrypha. Verse ten. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. So that's what's in the scriptures. Before our Lord Yahweh shall returns, it's gonna be like a time never before, man. All right, lamentations, mournings, and woes, man. All right, so we got to repent so that what? We may be saved on the great day of the Lord, man. All right, that great day of darkness and gloominess, that day of wrath, that day of the Lord's fury, the day of the Lord's anger. All right, so we got to tell our people whether they hear or forbear, man. So, Lord, what in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, or Chakwadash. All right, I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which we will. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep doing Shalom.